baby, I love one for Christmas is you. Hi everyone, it's Emma, and it is now Christmas time. I don't know about you guys, but as soon as Thanksgiving is over, I get into full on Christmas mode. The Raven Cycle read along is ending, which means I can now read whatever I want, whatever my Christmas loving soul desires. So I thought I would make a video doing some of the winter reads I would like to get to this season. I did one of these for the fall time, and I actually managed to read every single book on that list. I thought I would do it again hesitantly try to make a list of what I want to read <laughs> during the winter season. Now the thing is that we all know I'm going to get a ton of books for Christmas and that this list will probably change. There's a month until Christmas. Maybe I can read all of these before then. Either way, I'm still going to tell you what I'm planning to read. The first book is the one that I will be picking up ASAP, Witchwood by Tahara Mafi. If you don't know, Witchwood is a book that takes place in the same world as Furthermore. I do have a review for Furthermore, I believe. I'm pretty sure I did a spoiler-free review for that, so I will link that down below. Witchwood doesn't follow the same characters. In this one, we follow this girl, Laylee, whose job it is to prepare the dead to enter afterlife. I've heard that this one is much darker than Furthermore. Furthermore was pretty like upbeat, happy, adventure, middle grade. This one I've heard is darker and creepier as you can probably tell because the whole premise surrounds this girl who like cleans dead bodies, which is pretty dark in and of itself. I personally really enjoy dark middle grades. I'm not sure why it's that way. I don't lean towards dark YA books, but middle grade books, I usually really like the atmosphere. This one has a very wintry cover. It has snowflakes on it. Just makes me want to read it in the winter time. I'm looking forward to this one as I do to every Tahara Mafi book that comes out. What's next on my little stack here? I have Smoke and Mirrors by Michael Faudet. I've already read some of it. There's my little Luna bookmark. This is a new poetry book by Michael Faudet. So far, I am loving it. I've only read maybe like 40 of the poems. Almost every single one I've loved. Like I didn't put any tabs in this book because I would have had to mark almost every single page. There are some that are not my favorite, but I think that's because it is poetry written by a man. Sometimes when I read poetry written by men, I'm just like, mm. not that it's problematic. It's just not from my point of view and I don't resonate with it. So I will also be continuing this one in the winter season. The next book I'm very excited for, I've been wanting to read it for a while, it is Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs. I continued this series and read Hollow City in the fall time. That one was in my spooky reads video that I mentioned earlier. Then like the Raven Cycle read along started and I got caught up with other books and I didn't get to finish the series right away, which was what I was planning to do. I'm now ready to finish this trilogy. I didn't really do review videos for these, I'm pretty sure I gave all of them five stars? I think this has been a five stars trilogy. If it hasn't been, then I would probably go back and change my rating because they've all been five star books for me, especially Hollow City. That one I marked up with lots of tabs because the writing was just so beautiful. So I'm really excited to finish off this trilogy and see what happens to these characters. My pile's getting shorter. The next one that I have is actually a manga and it is All You Need Is Kill. The original story by Hiroshi Sakurazaka. Storyboards by Ryosuke Takochi. And the art is by Takeshi Obata. I'm sure I didn't pronounce at least one of those names right, but I tried my best. This is a manga that one of my favorite action movies is based on. If you've ever seen the movie Edge of Tomorrow, Edge of Tomorrow is one of my favorites. I think it's so epic and cool. And apparently it was based on this manga. The basic premise of this is that aliens have invaded Earth and everyone is put in these metal suits to kind of join the army to fight off the aliens. But the main character dies in battle and the next morning wakes up again at the start of the day. So like he keeps dying and then he keeps being reborn. On the back it says his 158th reincarnation. He gets a message from this like famous female warrior who is so cool and is played by Emily Blunt in the movie. They have to kind of work together to like save the world and also they have every day to try again because they keep being reborn. So it's this really interesting like action alien story. My brother has said that the manga is pretty different storyline wise, especially the ending from the movie. So that always interests me to see like what was different and what they had changed since this was the original story. It's a pretty cool cover too. I love that the front is all blue and the back is all red. The next book is also a series that I want to continue. The School for Good and Evil 
A World Without Princes. This is the second book in a middle grade series. I believe there's now four books. I read the first one around this time last year and I loved it. I did make a spoiler free review so I will also link that down below. Recently I've been just looking at a lot on my shelf. It's been calling to me so I've decided that it's now time to pick it up. The basic story of this, or at least the first book, is that we follow these two girls and they kind of live in a fairy tale world. Some kids from their village disappear and the rumor is that they are sent to the school for good and evil and either put in the like hero's track or the villain's track where you learn how to be a hero or how to be a fairy tale villain. There's one girl who looks the part of the fairy tale princess. She has like the blonde hair and she's so good. And then there's the other girl who is a little darker and more moody and they're put in the opposite tracks that they thought they would be in. I remember everything from the first book, which is really interesting because it was a while ago that I read it. So it's one of those books that has really stuck in my mind and I remember the ending too. I'm excited to pick up where it left off. And the last book on my winter reads list is kind of the one that I'm not sure I will get to, but I'm going to put it on here because I've been wanting to read it for so long. Maybe if I put it on this list, I'll get to it sooner. It is The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. Honestly, I don't know how to describe this book, so I'm just going to read the back for you guys. Foolish love appears to be the Rue family birthright, which casts an ominous fate for its most recent progeny, twins Ava and Henry Lavender. Henry is mute for much of his young life, and Ava, in all other ways a normal girl, is born with the wings of a bird. What I can gather is that it's one of those books where the storyline is a bit vague, like it's kind of confusing, but the writing is really beautiful and magical, and that is what I love. I love those books where you're like, what's going on? But this is so pretty. <laughs> and I've also been recommended it a lot by different people who I trust or people who have the same book tastes as me. We'll see, maybe it'll become a spring read. <laughs> those are all the books on my winter reads list. Like I said, I know this is going to change once Christmas comes and I get all the books on my wish list. Please comment down below a book that you are planning to read in the winter season or if you've read any of these, which would you advise me is the one that's like, you have to get to this one because I know I'm not going to get to all of them, but I want to read all of them. If you have any advice as to which ones I should read first, let me know down in the comments. I hope you have a lovely day or night or afternoon wherever you are and I will see you in my next video.